Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, talking fishing. If it's facts about fishing that you want to know, then tune in, folks, because this is the show. We'll show you all the right bait to use. So sit right back, you got nothing to lose. Doesn't really matter if it's trout or carp, flathead, marlin, or a gummy shark. Listen to the guys and you can't go wrong. They'll be talking about fishing till the cows come home. Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. Welcome everyone to Talking Fishing. It's winter and the forecast for the next week is rain and a top of nine degrees. And that's exactly why we're normally on our winter break this time of year. But tonight, a special edition of the show with a special guest in the studio. For the next hour, we will delve into some of the recent announcements by the state government regarding boat ramps and fishing. From the very start, when several groups called for free boat ramps, better boat ramps and more boat ramps, the journey to achieve this was never going to be easier. The management of boat ramps in Victoria is complex. Currently, there are 70 management authorities within the state managing well over 400 boat ramps. It is just over eight months since the election. It is nearly five months since Better Boating Victoria was established to start untangling the complexity of boat ramps. Last Sunday, saw the beginning of the end. The first group of boat ramps have been declared free. Tonight, we get down to the nitty gritty and we discuss all of Victoria's boat ramps and some great news for fishing as well. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this special episode as I welcome our co-host for the night, Adam Ring. Welcome back, Ads. Well, I didn't think uh, we'd be back this early, but it feels like we've been off the air forever. But uh, how good is it to be back under these exciting circumstances? This is big time, <laughs> big time. Well. It's I'm pumped. This is great. Yeah, but seven degrees outside. We're not normally back this early. <laughs> that doesn't Trelly. matter. Yep. Um, it was at least 10 over the Great Divide today. It was. Yeah, cold. Yep. Uh, but anyway. over the Great Divide. Yeah, it was 10 come southern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But um, sensational to be back. We've got some great news. Yeah, actually, uh, when you talk about winter, I mean, we've had some fantastic days as far as, you know, you get out there, there's no wind, the warmth. It's actually some fishing's been really, really good. So, um, yeah, it's been great. There you go. And our special guest in the studio tonight is uh, the, I love this title, the Minister for Fishing and Boating, the envy of Australia, the Minister for Fishing and Boating, Jala Pulford. Welcome. You're very kind. Thank you. It's lovely to be back with you. We're about to go to AFTA up on the Gold Coast Mm -hmm. next week and where we have to address all of the states and how they're going with fishing. And I'm telling you, the jealousy level is 11 out of 10. Mm. Yeah, well, let's take no it. one else has a Minister for Fishing and Boating. We're going to see if we take it to 12 or so tonight. You reckon 12? Yeah. Okay, there you go. So now, before we do anything, Jala, we are crossing live to your home, right? And we've had to, that we've actually had to, had to adjust the satellite dish because you're doing renovations, right? Yeah, right? As, but as you are, I believe. Yeah, so I am. <laughs> Don't worry, the body's hurting. But, um, we're going live into your house. The renovations, we've adjusted the satellite dish. We're looking at your list on your fridge. Yes, yeah, so and while we're talking about the weather uh-huh. in Ballarat, yeah, we know about minus cold. three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so let's fridge. have a look at you. Now, what we do, you know, what we do, and we're harsh. We are harsh scorers, right? I know. Uh, let's go under the fishing list, because we've, we've had to do two lists. So um, let's have a look. Now, oh this is goodness, your... That's Very your fishing fine list. Print. Oh, and I've got this somewhere here. I should have um, my reading glass. Yeah, yeah. So you a bigger fridge. Now, yeah. now you've only got one tick, right? <laughs> we've so only, and we're going to talk about all these things tonight, but you've only got one tick there, which is uh, number plates for cars and trailers. Oh, yeah, I bought something to show you. Really? You want to see it now? No, no, not yet. No, no. Trelly. Oh, no. sorry. We've got an hour to get through. All yeah. right, so, no, no. But what we're going to do, to be fair, right, in, we're zooming into Ballarat, so we've got a camera two. <coughs> um, we're going to give you half a tick for stuff that's well underway. All right, so let's have a look at what's well underway. If the boys on the other side of the glass can put up the second graphic. Fair show back for a while. Yeah, there you go. Come on, Kevin. Come on, Kevin. No, no, no. There's, there's oh, a, all those greens sound exactly the same. Oh, show. yeah. There's a few more ticks coming up. No, no, because the, you, get a, you only get a half a tick. Oh, so there's actually bottom, going to be oh, half a tick. Hang on, hang on, I'm looking, I should be looking over oh, there, but I'm looking over there. Um, the, the solid tick means you've only got one. You've okay. only got one. But 
but all the rest are well underway. So you've got grow fish stocking to 10 million per year, build a new fish hatchery, Murray Cod, Gold and Silver Perch into Suburban Lakes, Stock Prawns and Lake Tyres, Compulsory Buy at a Commercial Netters in Gippsland Lakes, Protect Recreational Fishing Rights for Southern Bluefin Tuna, um, Access to Reservoirs and Fishing for All Program. We've, we've given you a half tick. That's good. Because they're well on the way. They are well on the way. Even though one of them, the I think you actually had the Minister for Fisheries changed at federal level, didn't you? To like. Get it, <laughs> Did, was that you? No, that wasn't no, no, me. That wasn't you. Okay. That wasn't me. But anyway, but, but okay. things, think, are, things are better federally with um, Southern Bluefin tuna folks. But I so. think our angling community sent a pretty loud and clear message to the federal government yep. about SBT. And yeah. so, as we had been suggesting for some time, we're going to do the research before we talk about yeah, yeah. quotas. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's good. Now. Good structure. Now, we're just... A, the. The good folks that are live in Charla's kitchen have just changed the camera angle and uh, we're going live now back into the kitchen for the boating list because we've got to run two lists now. Wow. Minister for Fishing and Boating. Uh -huh. right, so, yeah, we've got the set. Here's the list here. So yeah, you're, only, now, you're only getting. Are they, they're only half. Are they half? No, they're only. I think Kev's stuffed it up. He's got, <laughs> they're about, I think they're about three quarters. <laughs> three quarter ticks. No, no. So we get no, establish the better boating ticks. fund to fa facilitate urgent boat ramp upgrades and continual maintenance for Victoria's boating infrastructure. You've got a massive budget that yeah. you'll probably talk about yeah, a little yeah. bit later. And abolish parking and launching fees of Victoria boat ramp. So three quarter ticks. There you go. Three quarter ticks. Yeah, three yeah, quarter yeah, no, ticks. Wow, three Somebody should invent an emoji for that. Yeah, okay, Kevin, right. can Kev, Kevin can do that. I think he's already left the building. Uh, he did. I saw him on the way in. <laughs> anyway, so we've been live in the kitchen. Yep. We're going to go to a break because um, this is a massive show. We're going to get serious after this. <laughs> we always have a bit of fun with the kitchen magnets. Yeah, yeah. No, but we're we going to get serious. I haven't seen serious. the kitchen staff yet, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> hey? The kitchen staff. You, wrote, you said about the kitchen staff. I haven't seen the kitchen staff yet. No. Oh, the stuff. Staff. staff. Stuff. Oh, stuff. Okay. You say yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Now, Let's get on with it. No. Lots to do. We're going Let's to a break. About. Come out next. Over here. Uh, which boat ramps are free and when will the rest be free? You'll hear it firsthand from the Minister right after this. Talking fishing. We know what you'd rather be doing. We know what you've really got in mind. We know you'd rather be out fishing And today's the day you're gonna wet a line Cause every day's a good day Stop wishing Every day's a chance to drift away Drift away Every day's a good day for fishing every day. See you down at Tackle World today Talking fishing, talking fishing Nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing we're talking fishing. Welcome back to a special edition of Talking Fishing tonight. We're joined by the Minister for Fishing and Boating, Jala Pulford. And uh, boys and girls, we're going to talk boat ramps. We are. Been a, a long time coming, as I said in the intro, and it is very complex. It is, yeah. yes. Um, so before the election, as I'm sure everyone will recall, uh, we said that we would make boat ramps free for parking and mm. launching. And this was very popular and lots of people were very excited about it and wanted it to happen immediately. Overnight. And I, mm -hmm. Overnight, yes. And, uh, and, I, and I know people have been frustrated by that. We've been working, mm. um, we have been working hard on this since day one. So when I first came into this portfolio. I had fishing mm. before uh, in my old role, but boating was new. My first question was, how many boat ramps exactly are there? And uh, nobody could answer that question because, of course, state government doesn't normally, mm. hasn't traditionally taken an interest well, had and an active register role. or something? Yeah, no, yeah. that's right. So there was no register. Mm. So um, there was quite a few months of work mm. um, literally counting them. And it, Have you got them all now? Do you think? I hope so. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we're really? not, yeah, we're yeah. north of 500. Wow. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's a few yeah. of them around. Yeah. Wow. Um, but I was, you know, we've, um, so uh, our uh, team at Better Boating Victoria have been in mm. place for three months, um, the first of them five months. Yep. And so I catch up with them on a yep. pretty regular basis. And yeah, every time, for quite some time, mm. uh, the number of boat ramps that they'd found just kept. Increased. Yeah. Increasing, increasing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, but of course, um, fees, which was 
the thing that the election commitment was about, mm. um, there are fees at 35 boat ramps. and Which surprises me because I would yeah, have thought 60, like 70 or something. <laughs> and yeah. well, that surprises me there was only 35. Yeah. yeah, I guess it's mainly the big busy ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, And the ones that people visit all the time. Yeah. There's lots of small ones on lakes. Mm. There mm. are you know, others on rivers. Yep. Um, you I know. didn't realise there was a few freshwater ones too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, there's a few around, so, that's for sure. So, when um, do they become free? Well, so so here's what we did next. Um, then we had to map exactly who currently owned them yep. and who managed them. Hmm. And so of those uh, 35 that charge, there are 22 different entities, different organisations hmm. that run them. Yep. So that's 22 individual sets of negotiations, 22 uh, all slightly different contracts hmm. uh, to come up with a new set of arrangements for mm. them. So I know people have desperately wanted this to happen yesterday, mm. really. And everyone wants their election. boat ramp yeah, to right. be free. And everyone wants <laughs> their boat ramp to be first. Yeah. And, so and we've, you've got to negotiate with all yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. So on Sunday um, at the Warmies, mm. uh, the Premier and I uh, an announced the first uh, fee-free boat ramps. Yep. And so it's Warmies and Altona. Port Welsh Pool, Coronella. We've got a map we might show Fisherman's that while you're reading Beach these out. at Torquay, mm. Rill, New Haven, Cowes and Inverloch, Lake Nagambi and Portland. Yeah. And I have for you a talking fishing exclusive. Really? Because, yeah, your map's wrong. Oh. Our map's wrong. Yeah, your map's... But Big for, Kev, uh, Big <laughs> Kev, he spent a lot of time on that map. Yeah, the map was spot on on Sunday, but yeah. so, but 48 Changes. hours is a long time yeah. in boat ramp fee abolition. Yeah. And so uh, news hot off the presses, yeah. uh, Turidan and the Alliance boat ramp at Lake Yeldon also now oh. fee free. Very good. We've got there you go. Yep, next handful we're hoping to have... Excellent. By the end of the week. Are they almost yeah. rolling in daily? They're starting to roll in daily. Yes, this is very so exciting because it so has good. been, you know, it has been slow and fiddly work, and I know it's been, you know, yep. people haven't been able to see it, and now people can see it. Yep. And so yeah. um, we've got some signs that we're putting up around the place. Yeah, what do are you, they? Uh, what do they look like? Here we go. They look like this. <laughs> <laughs> no hey, way. Hey. Boom. Keep an eye out for those. Do you actually think that sends a clear message? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's elegant. It's a nice, clean font. Yeah, Keep good. an eye out for those. Mm -hmm. But yeah. um, Sorry, if people are out... I mean, the weather's going to be atrocious this week. Yeah. But if people are out... Um, check the signs locally and yeah. just check for the latest information. Because some um, of them might be just given a bit of grace. There's a bunch of, well, there's a bunch of them that are done now. There mm. are others that will be done by the end mm. of the week. Mm. And then, you know, we'll be bringing up the rear, yeah. I think, by the end of the month. Yeah. So really, what, by what's the on time... Your, what's on your list for still having to make free? Ah, oh, okay. So um, so there's some in the west. Yep. Um, Warrenook, Brim, Chum and Watcham. Yep. Um, the, the boat ramps in the Mornington Peninsula. Yep. Frankston, Mordialloc, Werribee, Patterson River, Warneet and Stony Point and Queenscliff. Oh, some big ones in there. Yeah, so there, there are, are some, some big, big ones. ones. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But the discussions are really well advanced yeah. um, with all of them. And, you know, we're confident that yeah. Yeah. by the start of spring, mm. uh, when people are getting back in the water in a big way, mm. uh, they're going to all be done. But a lot of the feedback has come back from the show. I know Dave's all over this, but a lot of the feedback's come from the show. That those are some of the big ones that have come yep, back. Yep, yeah, we yeah. are. And yeah, we're not yeah. doing them in any preferential yeah. order. Yeah. We're doing them all as quickly as we can. Yeah, so yeah. the minute yeah. uh, the negotiations are concluded, the contracts are written, sent out, returned as quickly as possible. Yeah. Um, a number of these are committees of management, yeah. as people would know. A number of them are local councils. So sometimes, um, you know, the, the council needs to wait for the monthly scheduled council meeting yeah. so that they can formally make their decision. There's a there's a couple that are in that category uh, where we just, yeah. um, you know, need those formal processes to be concluded. Right. But yeah, it's still on track. That's it's really on. nice to have yeah. the first now, fee free ones. Before I ask you about how many hundreds of dollars you're going to put up boat registration and <laughs> licence fees, right? Before I ask you that question... I can't believe everything no, no. you read I read it. I have read... Facebook. 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 It's true. The truth, right? Before <laughs> yes, we right. ask you that... That's a whole other conversation. <laughs> really, at, at the Warmies on Sunday, and I was there, mm -hmm. uh, the, the Hobson's Bay Shire introduced a 12-hour 
parking restriction, which didn't go down too well, particularly for snapper season and the snapper comps, because people go out at night, yeah. stay out all night, stay out all day, and um, it didn't go down too well, that 12-hour parking restriction. Yeah, so Hobson's... We've had a few discussions today. Which Have we really had an positive. issue with Hobson we, Bay um, before, right? We did. Show? Never. Oh, okay. And look, you know, and, and we were making the announcement on Sunday yeah. at Hobson's Bay. They've been really supportive and mm. a delight to work with. Very, very keen to help us yep. um, get things moving on uh, fee-free and mm. not wanting to do the wrong thing on parking. Um, when uh, we explained over the course of the last couple of days just how impractical and what an imposition 12 hours would be. Mm. Um, we got a really good response from them. Um, they're going to change that to 24 hours and they're setting up a text-in arrangement where if people are out for more than 24 hours, they can just send in a message and they won't be fined. There so, you go. Yeah, you know, sometimes local councillors can get a bit of a, you know, get a Get well, bit roughed up by people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess so. yeah. Hobson's Bay have been really good on yeah, yeah. on boat ramps fee yeah. question, and you know when we expressed um, a little concern about this and mm. explained the impact, they've been really good. So yeah. thumbs up, Hobson's right. Bay. Okay, no, 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 now enough of the good news, all right? Enough of the good <laughs> oh. news. How many hundreds of dollars are you going to put up boat license and registration fees? Really. <laughs> I read about it on Facebook. No, no. I read about it on Facebook. The people are saying hundreds of dollars. Yeah. That's not true. Not true? No, it's not true. No way. I read it on Facebook. Yeah, yeah well, you shouldn't Are you serious? everything yeah, well, yeah. on Facebook. Now, you've been good okay. enough to supply us with a little bit of a table here. Yes, some I think, facts. I think, mm. um, there's your old map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but oh, yeah, yeah, but no, there's map. a table. I'm going yeah. to get back to the optometrist. Oh, I know, same here. <laughs> So, you eyes, since though. 2017, we started off on, you know, 35 odd, 36 odd, it's now 37. By your estimates, no, this can't be right. By your estimates, it says that you're going to probably put it up CPI by about 60 cents. Yeah, that's right. No way. All over the internet, it's $300. That's not true. Not true. <laughs> what not do you true. mean, not it's true? It's just you mean, but Facebook you mean says. Facebook's oh. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Nick <laughs> from Werribee said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You might need to spring clean some of your Facebook friends. Yeah. Zuckerberg. No there. way. <laughs> no. So, as people know, there are fees and charges for different mm. things that governments do and yeah. different organisations do and to save everyone um, from the imposition of big changes to those um, the usual arrangement is they're just indexed for inflation and as I think everybody knows inflation's pretty low mm. um, these days has been really for quite a number of yeah. years and so yeah um, a marine licence is going up 60 cents yeah. Registration's got it. So let's get what back proportion that, that is? That table. Of a cup of coffee. Sixty oh. cents for the license. Less than Don't a cup of coffee. That's a lot less than a cup of coffee. Is, it, is less that than a is that a hundred and cup of coffee? Is that a hundred and forty? No, it's dollars. No, no, it's a. Oh, it's a dollar forty-three. It's a dollar and forty-four cents. There's a little dot in there is between that? the one <laughs> and the two fours. Is, yeah. So they're going up a tiny bit. It's hard to see the screen. No, I think it's a dollar forty-three. It says dollar forty-four. They're going up a tiny, that. tiny bit. No way! I would have sworn that that was one thousand four hundred and something dollars. <laughs> Well, well, I read it on Facebook today. Yeah. It said Olympic it's going at no. one thousand no, four hundred. Yeah. No, no, it's, it's serious though because yeah, the, yeah, I know because it's the yeah. the cost, you know, the cost mm. for households of meeting, mm. Mm. you know, meeting all of their expenses, yeah. kid things, paying the bills, yeah. all of mm. that. Like that's. You know, that is a real say. pressure for people and yeah. we want, you know, we really want people to be able to access their mm. fun recreational activities yeah, yeah. and their mm. great loves yeah. and, and family yeah. time and have and have money for that. And, you know, the, the reason that the boat ramps, um, the fee-free boat ramps policy was so important and was a real priority for us was because this is important and we want yeah. more people fishing, we want more people boating and we want them to be able to afford to do it. And so um, a lot of those annual passes, you know, some of them in the order of 300 bucks a year, yeah. but that policy is actually about you know, putting that money back in families' pockets so that they mm. can do the things yeah. that are important to them. Um, so we wouldn't do that on the one hand and then do some crazy fee increase for no reason on the other. We just I read wouldn't. about it on yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, little tiny, tiny little indexations, yeah. Um, yeah. an annual very yeah. small, 1.6% um, one, one it is this year. One of the things I saw um, in reaction to that, particularly that 12-hour parking restriction, was people were saying, 
wouldn't we be better off back on the user pays system of paying at your boat ramps? Well, what people got to understand is user pays. You're paying a boat rego and a boat licence, yep. which is the equivalent of about $130 per person who has a licence and a boat registration. Mm -hmm. That is enough. That's all. And, and to be honest, and, yeah. and I, I, I probably have, you know, probably talking a little bit out of school here. Um, we had a few meetings with the Premier leading to the last election, Jala. And the Premier actually said to me, he said, we're thinking of, you know, halving boat registration. I said, no. I actually said no. Mm. I didn't support that because it takes X amount of dollars to maintain boat ramps and that. And the revenue, I think, which is around about, well, it's probably going to be about 29, 30 mil. Yeah, that. so this is... Yeah. So th that's, that's adequate. Right. So it shouldn't been, be any less, but it shouldn't be any more. There's been lots and lots of excitement about uh, removing the fees yeah. for parking and launching, but the other really, really exciting part of what we've promised is the um, Better Boating Fund, yeah. uh, which will be every dollar uh, from a boat registration and licensing and it moves around a bit as a lot of people would know um, some of those license categories they're renewed mm. every five years so it's not exactly the same dollar amount yeah, every yeah. year but if you take the last five years as a pretty good example the average is 29 million dollars a year mm. and so the better boating fund is going to enable us all to uh, create new places uh, to be launching and to be having uh, much better and also more consistent standards around the place, like right across Victoria. Yeah. Mm. And that's a huge change and that's what we are really looking forward to diving into in mm. a whole lot of detail in the next month. Now, the other thing I read on Facebook, right, cause <laughs> I know, is that we are at Queensland and New, and New South Wales, they just charge a fortune, we're going to be up there. Um, a little comparison let's have a look at this uh, on the table of what registration costs are for a six and a half meter boat where at Victoria's at 8960 New South Wales 137 Queensland 342 dollars yeah so, um, we're, so we're, I reckon you should come up with a number plate that actually says you know that fishing's good in Victoria Oh, we did that. Oh, okay, we're going to talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, we did that. We did that. No, well, it's but, but things are right. good in Victoria. So, <coughs> so, yes, and so yeah. um, compared with the other states, our rates are really reasonable. And I know that there was a, you know, there was a, a legitimate complaint and one we've responded mm. to from people saying, hey, you know, we're spending all this money on mm. our boat licensing, boat red show. Like, what are we saying for it? Yep. And, you know, there were, mm. you know, lots of upgrades and things going on, um, safety programs, yep. you know, yep. lots going on. Uh, but uh, when we um, now, as we have, when we say every dollar of that is now coming to safety and infrastructure for boating, it's going to take it to a whole other level. Yep. And it's very exciting. Mm. There you go. Uh, coming up next, we are going to talk about the review of boat ramp management, but we're also going to talk about the fishing plan number plates, the new native fisherage, sorry, the new native fish hatchery, and cheetah trout. Coming up next on Talking Fishing. Talking Fishing. And welcome back to Talking Fishing special episode tonight. Normally we'd be on a winter break because it's about nine or ten degrees for the whole week, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Still uh, warm we here. are sorry. <laughs> Still warming here. Oh, yes. really warm in here. Always warm in here because we can't afford the air conditioning. But we are joined by the Minister for Fishing and Boating, the envy of Australia. We have one, uh, Jala Pulford, and so good that you're back in the studio. Oh, it's always it's wonderful to great, join you. Great stuff. Now, boat ramps. Let's talk about. You are doing a management review. What does that review involve? So one of the things that um, we were talking about with a lot of uh, anglers and boaters all across the, uh, the state before the election was uh, what we were hearing was uh, people's frustration about 
really varied uh, condition mm -hmm. and also uh, management structures that just weren't particularly responsive to uh, what best way of looking after boat ramps was. Yep. So, um, you know, how much maintenance they need, what kind of dredging's required, how often, all those kinds of things. And mm -hmm. so we said that we would undertake a review of the management of all of this. And as I was saying before, just, you know, just those 35 boat ramps that charge mm. 22 different sets of arrangements. So it's a little one that people mm. are mm. finding very, very different standards and have a very different experience yeah. uh, with rules and arrangements around them and the condition of them, of course, is important. Um, so uh, a really key part of what we promised to do and a very important part of Be uh, Better Boating Victoria's work now is going to be um, that review. So we've had a, um, a sort of a government process to find a consultant to really sort of dig into the yep. detail on this. They talk to lots of people, engage anybody who wants to give us their two bobs worth on this. Yep. Um, we'll be in a position to appoint somebody to run that for us in within the next couple of weeks yep. and it'll be off and running. And, and I've got how a, long will that go for? Mm, 10 to 12 months. Yeah, so it's yeah, big, it's, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's big. Comprehensive. Well, like we've got more than 500 yeah, five yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, and so many different arrangements for them, different yeah. land managers for them. So one of the things that we talked about uh, before, um, you know, as we were developing the policy was uh, this idea of maybe a boat ramp management authority. Yep. Uh, you know, we've talked before about the, the change when fisheries was in the department and now is its own authority. Yeah. That kind of idea. Uh, but yeah, look, I'm going to keep an open mind about it. It's got to it. be well, feasible or non feasible. Yeah, and, yeah you and, don't want to set yeah. something and, up. And I, I reckon boat ramps work. are way more complex than just managing fisheries. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like they're bits of land, they're bits of car parks, yeah. there's yeah. thousands. Yeah. Of, they're complex. I know, I, I know a whole bunch of fisheries officers who <laughs> yeah. say the work they do is pretty tricky too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not taking anything away from no, that. No, but, but it is. Boat it's, ramps it's, are it's complex. And of course, you've got to be dealing appropriately and sensitively with. With the coastal environment and doing yeah, that really yeah. carefully, Gets emotion you know, so some levels. Yeah, yeah look, yeah. And, yeah. you know, and and different competing ideas in the community yeah. about uh, access and about how to use them and where they should be and yeah. all of these things. So we're gonna, it's gonna take a little bit of time, yeah. but there'll be a few opportunities yeah. for people to have their input into that. And I've also, um, I'm also uh, going to have a sort of expert advisory group are going to help yeah. you know, steer yeah. it along and so that I will use So it'll be r right in saying that right now um, the funding is going towards the current managers? Yes, yes, the arrangement so, for boat So who fares. manages is not changing right now? There's a review underway, yeah, that's right. but they're funded by Better Boating Victoria now and, and um, those funds are just going to flow to make bet better boating facilities in the short term long term whatever the review spits out will change things in the future yes that's right so there's yeah. um so there's uh, five boat ramp upgrades that were part of our yeah. commitment real uh hastings hastings queenscliff mordialic yeah point richards are um are all priority projects there are a number of others mm. we've um uh, funded uh Warnable to do a study, which is sort of just yeah, the preliminary yeah. work for what will ultimately probably Another be quite complex a boat ramp. big, mm. tricky proposal. Yeah. Um, so there's, you know, there's lots, uh, lots on the go already. But at the moment, we're doing those through grants and arrangements and partnerships with whoever runs and owns the boat ramp now. Uh, but this review is about really kind of, it's almost like you got this huge, big blank bit of paper and you're saying right if you were gonna run boat ramps the best way you possibly could what does that look like yeah, yeah. so that's yeah that's what's next that's gonna be pretty complex. exciting that's the one word yeah. complex <laughs> all right let's let's move on um trelly in your neck of the woods yep. the exciting announcement in shepparton is that there is going to be a new native fish exactly. hatchery <laughs> that someone described that i don't know who it was yeah. but someone described you may be able to see it from space. Yeah, I've said that. Yeah. I mean, did you say that? <laughs> <laughs> it's huge. I blame Travis and Heidi. I thought yeah. it was one of them, but was that you? Yeah, it was me. Yeah. It's um, huge. You will. You'll be able to see it. You will be able to see it from the moon. Yeah. We've just been oh, celebrating the 50-year anniversary. The 50 year anniversary yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. 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 What's going on? It's a next, hatchery. <laughs> next person to walk on the moon will be able to say, there's that There's the Shepparton Hatchery. How's the buzz around Shepparton, Trelly? Look, it's I had a meeting today with a couple of the councillors and some group are going to the December 7 
COD festival up there. The conference. Yeah. Conference. conference yep. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to be a whole weekend of, of stuff around Shepparton as far as waterways and cod fishing and things. And I was surprised a couple of them didn't know what was going on, but on the majority of, of, of what's going on, mm. people are like really excited. So they're mm. like, you know, taking some ownership of what's going on. Yeah. You know, it's a hundred year plan, as you we've always oh, said, it's, so it's going to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, Snobs Creek's what seventy five. Yeah. Um, the new yeah, one's going. Has a site been selected yet? Uh, we're getting very close. So mm. we started with a list of about ten potential sites. Mm. Uh, we've narrowed it down to three or four, and yep. um, so we're now at the point where uh, you know there's been discussions with the people who own the various bits of Probably land that have been identified. No, no compulsory acquisitions. This is all no, voluntary. No. If someone I mean, wants to yeah, sell, you'll buy. Yeah, yeah we um, you know, really good and constructive discussions. Yep. Um, people understand that we're yep. you know going to build something pretty special, and and they're mm. kind of keen to be involved to help so we're now doing things like water testing soil testing those yep. last bits of important checking we well, actually sure need a bit of clay the perfect site that, that's something i didn't yeah. you need a bit of clay to keep the water in the soil yeah and and so that's yeah. a big part of it um wouldn't want your something water to leave your hatchery yeah something that yeah. i reckon you're really really you should be really really proud of and and i think all australians if they're fair income should be really proud of is that uh you have announced a um Indi Indigenous employment opportunities at the new hatchery. Yeah, fifty percent. Fifty percent. Yeah, there'll be twelve. That's pretty good. There'll be twelve positions yep. uh, in total, well, at least. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fifty percent uh, Indigenous employment. Uh, we've entered into a training partnership with mm. Melbourne Polytechnic, yep. uh, who do uh, a great. Um, I think it, it's an aquaculture course uh, and a marine science course that they're uh, co-designing with the fisheries with our fisheries people uh, to provide just a fantastic set of skills yeah. for uh, some young people for whom this is going to be uh, not just a great job but a wonderful training and career opportunity and Deakin University is the other partner in that yeah. so um, uh, when we were in Shep to announce this a couple of weeks ago it didn't quite feel like Shep without Trelly there, but it was. Yeah, I was um, <laughs> no, they're uh, uh, they're um, under the beautiful gums um, yeah. with uh, some of the uh, elders and leaders of the local Indigenous community. Yeah. And yeah, it's really exciting. And talking to the people from Deakin and, and, um, and the gentleman from Melbourne Polytechnic who's been involved in they're really excited about it too. Mm. Um, so the training's going to be first rate. The staff that we're going to have there are going to be in for um, in for a pretty exciting journey. That is good. Well yeah. received. Well received in Shepparton. Oh, actually. absolutely. Yeah, we went yeah. up and did some um, electro fishing with Jared Lyons up there in the Murray River, <coughs> and it was a couple of boys there from the um, Indigenous. And I, I went to a school with a lot of Indigenous people up there. at the primary school, Gary Street, which is funny because. Uh, you get along really well. They're, they're some of the funniest people you ever meet with their, their culture and their style and bits and pieces. But these guys are like pulling out fish and they're going, and they're going, oh, have a look at this cod. You know, it's like, isn't this a beautiful <coughs> thing? You know, check him out, check her out, you know, whatever. And they put it back in the water and say, how long have you been doing this for? 17 years. And they're just so passionate. They're yeah. just so good about it. And, and you bring that, that, that culture to, the, to some of the, the guys around Shep as far as, you know, indigenous or not indigenous, I mean, that's going to be a really good thing. Yeah, right. and, and um, the connections between our indigenous community and yeah. the management of our fisheries mm. is so deep and yeah. so long and just a wonderful thing mm. to be celebrating. And in fact, when we were in Shep, we were yep. reflecting on how just a, a week before that, um, Budge Bim in the southwest of the state had been uh, listed as a World Heritage Site. And yeah. um, for people who don't know the story, it's kind of a long story, but the very short version of it is that it's been listed on the um, UNESCO World Heritage as a as a, an incredibly significant site um, for a, a couple of reasons. Really, it's um, a demonstration of local Indigenous community uh, and aquaculture mm. trading, uh, and also this is where they trap the eels or something. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Of, of eel trapping. And um, I've been there a couple of times over the years. It's yeah. an incredibly special place, and you know now has um, this global recognition. But wow. the, yeah, yeah, and so different community, different region but yeah. our indigenous history and our mm. fishing and indeed our aquaculture history mm. um, goes back a very very long way yeah um, we're being yelled at in our year that we are way over time so we must take a break after the break we're going to talk about cheetah trout we're going to talk about 
fishing themed number plates. How exciting oh, yes. is that? Coming yes, up next on Talking Fishing. Talking Fishing. We know what you'd rather be doing. We know what you've really got in mind. We know you'd rather be out fishing. And today's the day you're gonna wet a line. Cause every day's a good day. Stop wishing. Every day's a chance to drift away. Drift away. Every day's a good day for fishing. See you down at Tackle World today. Talking fishing, talking fishing. Nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. Nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. And welcome back to Talking Fishing. We are joined tonight, special edition, because it is winter. We're normally not back. In fact, next week we're going to be on the Gold Coast, boys. <laughs> up at the uh, That's what winter in Melbourne's uh, for. Uh, no, you're <laughs> sitting in Parliament. You were meant to join us on the Gold Coast. I'll be a Big awards uh, next week. That's right. Well, I'm sure you won't be part. No, you won't be part of it. You'll be sitting in Parliament. Yeah. But, What's uh, the best oh. government representative body to recreational fishing in Australia? Victoria. What? That's going to come up at the probably after awards next uh, the week. The best. Yeah, you just didn't roll, roll that off the tongue. So that again. You must be on the after board. Yeah, I am. You've got some ins <laughs> inside, inside information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, things are good for Victoria and you won't be there to uh, personally experience it because you'll be sitting in Parliament. Maybe, but, maybe next year. Uh, we'll be up there, but it is winter. We are joined by the Minister for Fishing and Boating. So jealous are the other states to have a Minister for Fishing and Boating. Uh, if you haven't heard and you've just tuned in, uh, lots of boat ramps are for free. Apparently, license and rego is only going up by a couple of bucks instead of a not even sixty cents. Not even sixty cents. I read on the internet at least three hundred dollars. Uh, All those refreshing. people that are writing that were wrong. Mm. The who rego thought, and license. Who would have thought Facebook was wrong? They were Dave. wrong. <laughs> and we are the cheapest in Australia for boat rego and boat licenses. Right. How good is that? Anyway, move. and it's all going back in. And, and every bit every is going back in. Every dollar of it's mm. going, yeah. from now, is going back in. There you Good go. jealous of you, Joel. So I, I'll tell you oh, what. Steaks. How's my fridge looking? Uh, lots yeah. of ticks. Lots of ticks. Yeah. Jealous, yeah. jealous yeah, of Joel. Yeah. All right, let's get, let's get into it. Um, we're going to, what the hell is a cheetah trout? Cheetah trout. Oh. <laughs> You've already it. Are you on that We've page? <laughs> I was not on that page. What the hell is a ch There's yeah, been like some a big yeah. cash, is it? Yeah. Well, people well. have spotted uh, um, pumas, yeah, black sure. pumas and yeah, cheetahs yeah. in, you know, they say that the American Navy brought into Australia, but <laughs> um, they, they're yeah. saying that big cats have been spotted around Camperdown. And you have a cheetah and trout. Cheetah trout? I think That's we've got right. a photo coming up. Yep. There... Now that is oh, a that yeah. is a cheetah cheetah trout. That's it. Um, that's a, about a yearling, so it's around about twenty five centimetres. I actually saw these fish up at Snobs Creek the yeah. other yeah. week. So yeah, so we they've yeah, been stocked. Did some stocking. Yeah. Where? Because that's our thing. Where? Fish What'd stocking, you do? like Parham Bay. Yeah. Just now camping down. Sixteen hundred of them. Yeah. How good's that? Sixteen hundred. Now, yeah. old mate at Parham Bay, they got wiped out by yeah, a John, cyclone. Johnny, yeah. That was a cyclone. Yeah, right? That was insane. I know. I know. They, yeah. they come back. They're, they're doing really well. Yeah, and cheetah yeah. trout are in there now. So that is unbelievable. I what, think people are going to love it. Where did, how do you uh, breed, how do you breed that, a though. cheetah trout? It's in your notes. <laughs> no, no, no. No, it's in your notes. It's in your notes. It's a. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Where's your notes? Hang on. Um, the lights. No, it's markings <laughs> along their back resembling the patterns of the African cat. Well, it's okay to read. It's there. You go. They are a cross between. <laughs> they are a cross between a rainbow They're trout in your and a notes, brook. Not in mine. They've got to be. This is a copy of yours. Like a well-oiled machine, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we they are, they we are a cross. Are, we are a well-oiled machine This is, pro this is professional television here. They are. A Look, I'm going to read it. They are a cross between a rainbow trout and a brook trout. There you go. Um, cheetah trout. All go. right, moving on. That's uh, why you're on the Snobs Creek Advisory Board. Oh, I don't know how, but anyway. <laughs> All right, let's get on to the big one. Fish-themed number plates, Trelly. Oh, the prop, oh please. mine fell over. All right, get out. You're going to have to get out and get it. Very you actually got a text message today I from saw, a well I saw it on Facebook. You saw it. And we know Facey doesn't tell read us. everything you... No, I've learned tonight. Well, yeah, Can I give a tell us about shout this. out mm -hmm. to a gentleman uh, by the name of Wayne Felmingham yeah. from Mafra. Uh, Wayne won our competition. He got the first 
set of these in the state's history. Uh, he oh, came up with Hooked on Victoria as the slogan. Yep. Uh, and Makes that sense. was yep. the most popular, uh, nominated. How good are these designs? Also chosen by anglers. Yeah, you yeah. can have them in uh, this colour scheme yep. yeah. or that colour scheme. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, if you've got, um, if you just want to take your existing number plate details yep. and add this design, 195 bucks. Yep. Um, or if you want to come up with something eye fish type thing, yep. um, 495 for a new design. So you there can you check go. all that out on the Vic Roads website, custom place I've website. Got some stats but they here. look great, don't they? Yeah, they look I, awesome. I like Wayne's right. suggestion Thanks and it was really nice to meet yeah. him. Uh, we went to one. the um, uh, Essendon Angling Club yeah. on the mighty Maribyrn River. I think we've got a photo of you there. And it was just lovely. Yeah, Here's there you the, go. There is you that, go. Is that, this is our guy, yeah. yep. Wayne. That's Wayne. And Danny Pearson, who's a member for Essendon, the local yep. member in that area. He came along and joined us as well wow. at the mighty Essendon Anglers Club. Yeah. Wow. Um, I've got some stats here. 2,600 people entered that competition oh, tonight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How did you work out which was right? Who was the winner? That's a, well, we didn't have two hundred. Yeah, uh, sorry, we didn't have uh, two thousand six hundred different suggestions. There were yeah. some that came up a bit. Yeah. Um, Wayne was the first person to suggest hooked on Victoria. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, it was. It's nice. It's nice and simple. But you know, there's only so much space on a on a number plate, of yeah, course. With engagement, as far as what you do oh. out there and trying to get engagement with the public, oh, yeah. I mean, that was mm. fantastic. No, we we're really keen. We we're really keen um, to let people have their say on yeah. this, and I think we got a great result. Balls the colours the are good. The yeah. good. The oh, yeah, there would have been some crackers. Yeah. Now, <laughs> In your <laughs> office, do you have the, the worst five? Like, or you would. You have to. Can I just say to the people at home, do yourself a favour. <laughs> You get a bad They were probably all for Charlie, aren't you? Know, yeah. <laughs> I'm not telling. I'm not telling. Wayne won. He's yeah. the best. Do yourself, do yourself a favour. Everybody else came second. Yeah. Do yourself a favour. If you do not. So I'm going, because there's some very true Booker. stuff on face no on Facebook Charlie. Oh, sorry. Do yourself a favour. Go onto the Premier of Victoria's Facebook page. Uh -huh. His post on the weekend okay. about those number plates. I don't know if you saw it. About those number plates. He only did this on the weekend. He did a post about these number plates. But the, whoever is his, fo is his social media person yeah, yeah, yeah. that is so creative, I'm not going to say anything else, right. but the way he posted the thing about the, n the number plates mm -hmm. was bloody sensational. Bloody like, so good. So good. You don't have a red light over it. <sighs> no, no. Yeah. No, no. Just. just Okay. Really, really just creative. I, don't, I just don't know who does his social media, but there's some rubbish on the internet. There's some really good stuff on the internet. <laughs> and I'm telling and you, everyone you what, should proceed what with the, caution. What the yeah. premier did on the weekend That's about fabulous. these was unreal. Yeah. Oh, that just, just so creative. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, we were going to talk about RFL projects, but they're yelling an hour here. We must go to a break. We're going to try and squeeze in what we've got to get through in the next break. But coming up next, I don't know. We've lost track. We've got so uh, much to talk about. We'll, get out we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon on Talking Fishing. Talking fishing. G'day, Callan here from Paul Worsland's Tackle World Cramming. Supercharged batteries have been supplying maintenance free marine batteries since 2001. The Seamaster Gold Range is second to none, delivering superior starting power and reserve capacity. No need to top up with water, truly a fit and forget battery. With up to two years replacement warranty, you know you have quality. Your battery is your lifeline. Without it, you're dead in the water because it's bloody hard to push start. I've got a Seamaster battery in my boat. Make yours a Seamaster Gold today. Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. Nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. Welcome back to Talking Fishing. Big night tonight, special edition. It is winter. The forecast for the next seven days is nine degrees, and next week we won't be on. We're buggering off to the uh, the Gold Coast. Yep. We're actually Have not back, boys and, and people at home. We're not back till the 3rd of September. Yep. Mm -hmm. But we thought we'd come back because there's so much news happening. Um, we are joined by Jala Poolford, the Minister for Fishing and Boating. And Jala, a week ago you announced some big RFL funded, recreational fishing licence revenue funded projects. Rattle them yep. off. So we announced these at Snobs Creek and yeah. because we're doing very badly with our time management tonight, I'm going to do this real Bad. quick. <laughs> okay, so $127,000 for all ability clinics. Um, fish care delivering that, that's going to be fabulous, getting lots mm -hmm. of people involved. 100 um, clinics and that is an election commitment. It ticked. is. 
tick. You call for Do I get a proper tick for that? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, moving on. Um, $110,000 to create two new lakes at Rainbow and Yarpeet, uh, which will be... Um, which will be great too, and then we'll stock them because so brand new you know, lakes. there'll be waterways yep, that haven't awesome. been stocked, so we'll stock them. Wow. Um, $110,000 uh, for the Gippsland Lakes Habitat Restoration Project. Now, of course, we've got some big changes coming up at Gippsland Lakes that we're working on, and we'll have a bit more to say about that perhaps next time I'll pop yep. in and see yep. you guys. Um, but habitat restoration is going to be an important complement to removing the netting there. Um, $56,000 for creating sustainable anglers and empowering angling clubs program. So 200 fishing workshops, schools and community groups, more people fishing more often. Wow. Uh, $52,000 uh, for fishing facility enhancements at Ferntree Gully Quarry Rec Reserve. Uh, so that's about access, platforms and a boardwalk. Uh, $50,000 uh, for improvements to the Reeve Landing Jetty at Lakes Entrance. Uh, $37,000 for uh, stocking for fish translocated from the Goulburn Murray Water Irrigation Channels. Very successful. That is a great program. Yeah, it's been good, hasn't it? Unbelievable it's been, fish coming really out of those channels. Uh, $20,000 for rapid sand filtration system to improve our fish survival rates. Um, that's uh, one in my hometown, Ballarat Fish Acclimatisation Ballarat. Society. That is Excellent some great work project. there. Yep. Um, $16,000 uh, for Rippleside Jetty in Geelong. So this is really competitive. We've got this fabulous uh, committee of volunteers who do a wonderful job in helping mm. make the recommendations that come to me for final sign-off. Uh, but this yep. is you know, just a beautiful project. So yeah. keep having the ideas, everybody, because we'll keep running this. Can um, I say a quick one on that? Yep. Is the fact that they have come across the, the new working committee that I'm on that table now, which mm. go to Ujala. Yes. And good, a lot good. of these recreational funds are actually piggybacking other funds from council mm. and other things to get these projects done. So the RFL money isn't going to particularly fund all of it. It's part of the whole project, which is really, really great. Yeah, and, and, and I think it's you know, yeah. important to make the point like everyone who has their license, all that goes into the trust fund or yeah. gets reinvested yeah. back in. Yeah. And yeah. so that's what's paying for these projects. Anglers are paying for these projects yep. and anglers are making the recommendations about which ones get up. Yep. Uh, smashing through some content on being yelled at in my ER that we are back on September the 3rd. If you want to send in your picks to Catch of the Week, this is what you have to do. If you want to be like me and have your photo on TV, email your fishing pick to info at iFish.com.au. Go, go boys! Yeah, I want to go fishing. And have a look at this one too. A bit of news, breaking news. Um, winter calamari season continues and to go gangbusters in Portville Bay with lots of keen fishers getting out there. But some people don't know when to stop. Have a look at this photo here. On Friday, fisheries officers found a man at Rye uh, on inspection. He had seven calamari in his possession. However, after searching the vessel, they found another bag of 10. <laughs> like, seriously, do people need to be that desperate? Oh, uh, 10 dollars a kilo, 5 dollars a kilo. It's, well, seriously, I'm mean, going to catch a 10, that's enough. Anyway, that's enough about that. We're going to keep punching through. No, the limits um, are there for everyone's sake. Wom women in recreational fishing, how going successful has that stream. program been? Brilliant. Really and do you know so that, good. that uh, Trolley's daughter Jacqueline has yep. just won a scholarship. I did not. That's She's excellent. one of yep. the scholarships. Oh, so, I, I knew that there had been some yeah. scholarships yeah. Uh, we received yeah. and um, what a fantastic thing. That's yeah, Jacqueline's great. going to enjoy it. She's a, a very, very keen fisherman and, and loves to go out with her son Charlie, uh, which we partake in all that sort of you know, activity too. Beautiful. But um, And you know, the girls are there doing a great job, fantastic job. I, I was reading 1,200 people now, part of that Women are at fishing yeah, networks. Yeah, it's been great. too long. It's growing growing too long. Just, um, we celebrated the first birthday not all that yeah, long no. ago. Certainly been this the year. Day. Yeah, yeah, it might have been. Yeah, yeah it oh, might yeah. have been March. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we did cook Kakarot. But they're the same yeah. day, remember? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. it was lovely. Yeah. Um, um, but wonderful. And so, yeah, any uh, women watching who um, love a bit of fishing, check out the... Facebook yeah, site. Te yeah, check yeah, yeah, check out the group. Yeah, and yeah, it's um, good, you'll yeah. find it very welcoming yeah. and a lot of fun. Right. Um, prawns and lake ties. Oh, yeah. Prawns and lake ties. What is, is that? What is going on there? It's winter. How can you have prawns? Well, they're not there yet. <laughs> they haven't uh, arrived no. yet. No. It's only a half tick. Yeah, but yeah. they're well on their way. Yeah, we've organised yeah. for Do you them. know how many? Oh, I do. 
Lots. Oh, actually, <laughs> three, three million have been spawned. <laughs> exactly. Heaps. <laughs> loads of prawns. They, that many. Can I just it's say... It's a perfect breed, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, so we've we've uh, found somebody who's breeding them, them for us. <laughs> yep, it makes them. <laughs> yep, <laughs> and uh, and uh, <laughs> they're um, they're well on the way. We are expectant prawn parents, the, if that's appropriate. To there, say. there is a couple of so people. Lines, eh? <laughs> so many. There's a couple of people in the VFA, and I don't I don't mind talking out of school, but they've been under stress over this project because. Prawns. It's tricky and we've got a long way to go yet. Yeah, well, it's prawns are a summer thing and they've yeah. actually been able to produce them in winter through getting the temperatures right. Three million prawns on their oh. way to Lake Tyres. Yeah, they're the not like in the that. truck yet or That's anything, but they're like. No, they're, but, no, they're but they're on their way. Soon. I think they're going to be put in at 15 mil. So. And, uh. Yeah, and barring any mishap. Yeah. Um, mm. In the spring could sometime. Be, could be in for summer. Can you infuse yeah, yeah. garlic into them? To garlic <laughs> no. <laughs> no, if we're not infusing <laughs> garlic in them, no. <laughs> no. no. Hey, Jala. True or a Thanks for coming in tonight. That's well, been, it's been great a rush fun. And you've been you know, off doing other stuff and that. It's been great to have you in. A lot lovely. of news going on and so good. And we are back. Um, <laughs> Excellent. In fact, uh, we, we are back on the 3rd of September. Um, if you want to join us then, please do. We've got a couple of repeats to come, but we will get you back on the show because we haven't even touched on Gippsland Lakes netting. There's so many other things that are happening in fisheries that yeah. are just progressing. We will get you back on yeah, when might we get back. Yeah, catch you a bit later in the year, give yeah. you a bit of an update on some of those other things. Um, boat ramp fees will be done and dusted well and truly by then the review will be underway. Oh. Um, yeah, there's uh, always plenty going on. And of course, you know, when in doubt, fish stocking. Yeah. Keep your eyes uh, over here. Keep your eyes on the Better Boating Facebook page if you want to see how boat ramps are going. And, of course, the Victorian Fisheries Authority's Facebook page if you want to see how fishing things are going. Until we see you on the 3rd of September for Talking Fishing, please stay safe and warm on the water and enjoy your fishing. Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. We got all you need, just take a look. Watch those fish jump on your hook. So just relax and take your time. Enjoy the show, then drop us a line. Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing.